Hi, and welcome to Artist Academia. Today we'll be learning how to draw Aladdin from the Disney movie, Aladdin. So grab a piece of paper, a pencil, a pen, something to color with, and we'll begin. To start, I'm going to draw an oval right here at a slight angle this way in the center of my page. And then I'm going to draw a rough oval right here, right here, right here, and a little one over here. And then right around here, I'm going to just start really roughly drawing where his hat is going to be. And then I'm going to draw two lines here. Or roughly where his neck is going to be, and then a slanted line this way, and then it's going to curve down, and then a slightly curved line coming down this way. And I'm going to start roughly around here, I'm going to define his face more, so I'm going to draw almost straight line, comes in a curve just very slightly, and then gently slopes down in this direction. And we have a curve for his chin, and then it comes like this all the way up. So this is where his ear is going to be. So I'm going to really roughly just draw an oval here where his ear is going to go. And then Going to roughly draw where his eyes are going to go. So one circle here, one's going to be roughly around here, and then his nose is going to be somewhere here. So I'm just going to draw a couple lines just to give me an idea of where it's going to be proportionally, and then draw a really light line that's smaller underneath it. So this is going to be roughly where his mouth is, and now that I look at that, it might need to be a little bit higher. Move it up a little bit. Okay, so kind of roughly marking out this is where his nose is going to be, his mouth, his eyes, and then um, a couple lines here. This is rough, you know where his eyebrows are going to go. So he has a bit of hair, kind of sideburns coming down um, in front of his ear. I'm going to draw a line down and then a curve up like that. And then he has an interesting shaped hair. So that's why I started by drawing out these, these oval shapes. So his hair, like if you start around here with this, it curves in a little bit near his eye. Comes up. And then it's mostly straight, but at a slight angle. And then this is where his hat is. It comes up at a curve down to like probably about a third way through. So if this, you break this up into thirds, roughly about a third way <laughs> where his hat is. This is where that would end. And then there's another curved line that comes. So this one would curve like this, and then you have another one kind of coming off it like that. And then right in the middle, where his nose is, you have this piece of like a chunk of hair coming down. So you have a curve this way, and then it's going to curve up in that direction. And then this is going to be very curvy, curves in and out like that. And then right in front, right here, a little bit in front of his face, you're going to have a, kind of a gentle curve. It comes like that in front of his face. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And I can clean this. I just drew that <laughs> as guidelines. So this will be his, his hat. And then there's uh, another part, it kind of comes like this and then down like that. <laughs> so 
kind of coming roughly around here, right near the top of his eyebrow. It's gonna come like that. And then you're gonna have another piece coming like this. And then for his ear, comes down something like this. Actually, that's not quite right. <laughs> Need to fix that. Because um, this is where his jaw ends, it should come out like this. Something like that. And then you're gonna have like a curve line here and then another smaller curve line inside just to show like sort of give you the idea of the inside of his ear. And then I'm looking at this and I think that this is a little bit too extreme so I'm going to just adjust a little bit and make this not quite as curved as I originally drew it. <laughs> and then this part also a little bit, a little bit too curved. Yeah, should come up a little bit more like that. Okay. So again, continuing with the hair going to draw a curved line, comes up, kind of up near the hat, and then curves down, and then out like this. And then this is where his, I need to fix where his neck is. <laughs> so his neck actually starts here, back by his ear, comes down at an angle, that. And the other part of the neck, it starts where his chin is. You see a curve like that. His neck got made a little bit too long in the back. So curves out. Nice gentle curve comes down like this. And then from here, just a little bit underneath the chin. It's going to come at this angle like that and slope down. And it's going to slope down roughly in line with the edge of his hair here. And then his hair comes all the way down to here in the back. So I'm going to come up a nice curve like this, and then have a nice curved piece coming off like this way, and then up like that. And then for this last little bit in the front, um, just have a nice curved piece. It comes off like that and then it just curves down and it goes down, not quite all the way down his chin, but most of the way. So there's a little bit left still. And then he has, um, he's wearing a purple vest. So if you start roughly around here, get this gentle curve coming down like that. And then you'll start here and then draw a curve line like this. So it should come kind of like this. It gets wider like that. And then on this side, it'll start right here and curve like very gently in. And then it's like almost straight as it goes down. And then you just draw a very gentle curve, almost not quite straight. I got the angle a little bit off there. Should be something like this. Such as look right. Okay. Oh, it needs to be a little bit more at an angle than what I drew. Yeah. And this part I think is maybe a little bit too curved. So I'm gonna make it more more subtle. 
And I think it actually, yeah, it comes off. Yeah, that looks better. Like this should be closer together than how I originally drew it. And then I'll just draw part of his chest here. It'll come down a nice little curve, a nice little curve at the bottom and then come back out like that. And then just, just a line that comes with a curve. And it should just basically follow these curves. And then for his arm on this side, um, it should come out a little bit like that. And then I'm going to finish up, um, continue drawing to find his face more because so far I've just really lightly kind of drawn it out. Um, so for his nose, I'm going to start like this, come down, and then it's going to have a nice curve here like that. And then have a slight curve coming off right here. Yeah. And then for the nostril, it's going to come out like that. And then just curve up like this. And then for his mouth, I'll just define a little more. He has like a slight smile. And then I'll just draw in his bottom lip here like that. And for his eyes, um, this one is a big curve here, and then a curve down there. Start curve on this side, and a curve down here. Start with that, and then for this side, I'm gonna keep continuing this curve all the way up like that and then just connect these two with a more subtle curve like that. And then this one, just connect more subtle curve like that. And then I'll draw, not whole circle, but part of a circle. So his eyes are gonna be looking kind of down. So it'll be, I'll do it for both eyes. So this will be the iris. And then I'll draw in a pupil so on either side, and then a little shine mark right by the pupil, like that. And then lastly, I'm going to draw on his eyebrows. So his one eyebrow starts real through on here, and then it comes down like that. And then it has comes up to the top part where it hits his hair and then comes down something like that and then for this one you're gonna start where his the top of his nose is I'm gonna bring it across so it's pretty much like you know a little bit above where the eye is then it's gonna curve out like that and then have a big curve come back down show you Maybe a little bit too big. Make it a little bit smaller. Go down. Like that. And now that I'm done sketching everything out, it's time to outline everything with pen.
And now it's time to color. Thank you so much for joining me today. Great job. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video.